Hey guys, this is Black Ops and White Ops, and this is our overall mutation mode review. So first off is the RPK. The RPK is in mutation mode is the biggest damage dealer. The clip isn't that big, but it makes up for its lack of ammo with a huge amount of damage. Ammo duration. Very much suggests that you buy the mutation clip in the MG magazine, because if you're fending off 10 naked green men, you're going to need the extra ammo. Firing rate is nice and fast, but controllable, so you can one shot if you want to get those point if you want to get those points at long ass range. Reload is faster than the M60 Advance, which I really like, and uh, it's really helpful when you're in a tight situation. Recoil is pretty bad uh, as any machine gun, but mutation mode doesn't really matter because you're just shooting at a lot of green men. Okay, you know those big ass red bitches that come after you with axes or claws? Yeah, those are dreads. Personally, they scare the fuck out of me and compel me to ram an M60 advanced bullet down their throat. But hey, when you're on the other side, you feel their pain. Dreads can run faster and can rip off your face from an extra 5 feet away than a normal mutant can. Dreads health is like a fucking tank. And the mutation jacket doesn't hurt to add on to your um, dread. Just because it adds that AC, which is pretty much just extra protection and once again just one-ups you from normal mutants. Overall, you got a fatty red bastard that runs faster, hits harder, and doesn't fucking die when you shoot 150 fucking M60 shot. Okay, M60 advanced time. The damage is lighter than the RP RPK, but that's made up for the fucking large cap magazine. The ammo duration is long enough to last you the entire round. Maybe one support package, but you wouldn't have to reload after snagging it. Uh, if you see one lone slug just running around by himself, easy ass target to go kill him. Although slug dreads probably won't die from one clip unless you hit them in the head continuously. Firing rate is the same as the M60, but but it advanced. Yeah. Reload is really slow because you have so much ammo. It's a bitch to do, but if you can pull it off, you're gonna survive. Uh, overall, in the hands of a pro, it's awesome. And and in the hands of a noob, it's awesome. Generally, it just makes you feel badass. It's good. Get it. Mutation Axe is uber pro. You get that one plus evolution point or whatever you want to call it. Meaning you get that one extra block that makes evolution faster and easier for you as a mutant. Mutation Clip does not increase your initial clip. And by that, I mean the one you're shooting with but it does increase the ammo that you have to reload from, which if you think about it, is really helpful because you can't always rely on support packages to drop near you. The mutation armor is pretty damn helpful if you're in tight spot as a soldier. You can just run by some mutants and you have that one extra hit. When you wear the armor and you get hit, it doesn't kill you right away. It just takes away your armor, which I find really helpful. As a mutant, it does the same thing as normal armor does to a soldier. Just some extra defense against some bullets. And that's kind of helpful too, I guess. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Sorry reviews have been slow. We'll be, re we'll be reviewing more frequently now that we got over this mutation review hump thing. That, Yeah. Uh, the FSR rating on mutation mode is 5 out of 5. It's really fun. It's really creative. And it's really time-consuming. <laughs> Leave your reasons for liking or disliking the X M8 Advanced for a chance to be in the next review. Sub and comment. I'll see you guys in the next review. Later. You've heard what we think. What do you think?